Hi guys, today's uh, video is about how to do binomial expansion and then we'll look at how you do that with thirds. So a binomial is an algebraic expression where we have two values added or subtracted from each other. So a plus b is a binomial expression, so two variables. Um, we're going to be looking at binomial products, so that's where we have two binomials multiplied by each other. I'm going to look at how we do this. So you should have used the distributive law previously to be able to expand something like this. So we multiply each of the inside parts by the outside part. So that would equal AX plus BX. When we're doing a binomial product, um, we do a very similar method using the distributive law. Sometimes it's called FOIL. So if we had A plus B multiplied by C plus D, we multiply everything in the bracket by C, and we also multiply everything in the bracket by D. Everything by B, and then again by D. So that would then end up giving us A times C plus A times D plus B times C plus B times D, which we then could simplify. So that is called the FOIL method, and that's where we multiply everything in one bracket by everything in the other bracket. The other method that you can use is called the area method, and we set that out like this. So we have our first binomial, A plus B, and we're going to multiply that by C plus D, so C plus D, and we draw it up into a little table like this and we multiply each of the parts into the boxes kind of like what you would have used to have done with your multiplication tables so C times A is AC D times A is AD C times B is BC and D times B is BD and then we add all of those values together so that we get the same answer so it would be AC plus BC plus AD plus BD. Either of these methods can be used to determine a binomial product or do a binomial expansion. Let's have a look at an example. So you can see here we have our example of x minus 5 and times x plus 1. So I'm going to use my FOIL method here. Okay, so we're going to multiply our x by everything in this bracket. So x times x and x times 1. So we're going to do x times x plus x times 1. And then we're going to multiply everything by 5. So far, negative 5 times x and negative 5 times 1. So minus 5 times x plus minus 5 times 1. Once we've done that, we can now simplify. So that's going to equal x squared plus x minus 5x minus 5, which then equals x squared plus negative 4x minus 5. And that's our simplified expression. Okay, guys, in the next video, we're going to look at how to use it with certs.